when you're kissing me Oh baby, when you're loving baby, me baby. I can't describe what I want to do to you tonight baby. Oh baby, when you come to me I'll make it so you never baby. leave Welcome back. If you are new here, I am Shiny. And as y'all can see by today's look and the title, we are back with another hair tutorial. Shout out to Love Me Hair for sponsoring today's video. This is probably like one of my top favorite fall must-have units. It screams fall time. Does it not? These wigs are very beginner friendly, y'all. Okay, if you've been keeping up with my hair tutorial series, then you already know I've been really coming with the beginner friendly installs for y'all. This is another lace closure unit. Sis, you need this wig for the fall time, okay? This is your sign to go grab this wig for the fall season. We're gonna go ahead and get into this video so I'm not gonna talk too long if you want to see how I installed this wig then definitely keep watching this video let's get into it so let's unbox this wig so of course it came with the usual products and this is the unit y'all all the details of this unit is listed down below in my description box i'm showing y'all a close-up of this lace so freaking perfect look at those knots y'all already know what i always say if the knots are tiny and small baby that's a green flag we love that so because of the, the knots being already small i did not have to bleach or pluck this unit at all which i love that and y'all already know i love when these wigs come with the elastic band like that's like a win-win for me okay so let's go ahead and put this baby on because i'm gonna show y'all how easy and quick this install is and it takes no effort whatsoever so of course i'm gonna put the foundation powder on the lace just so it can blend in evenly with my cap and my skin tone and i'm going to go ahead and just secure that baby in the back and then voila she's on so to mold this down y'all already know i have not been using glue if you've been watching my hair tutorials then you know i have not been using any lace glue because i want to be able to take these wigs off the same day so i'm going in with my got to be a freeze blast spray and i'm just going to spray that lace down and i'm going to take my elastic band and just go ahead and secure it and get it out the way i usually let this sit for about 30 minutes or whenever it's completely dry or whenever i'm pretty much done styling my hair so that's what i'm going to be doing she's so cute okay Okay, so uh, let's get into the fun part, which is the styling, my favorite part. So, of course, as you can see, this wig looks crazy. I don't know what was going on with the bang part in the front. Like, what is that? Okay, so y'all already know we got to give this hair some body. We got to give it some definition. We got to give it some thickness some layers we just gotta really bring this hair to life because right now it's looking a little crazy okay so i split my hair up into two sections and i'm gonna do one section at a time so i started curling it first and then i realized like girl you know you need to cut some layers in this hair because if not it's gonna be flat and the curls are not going to last okay so just a fyi if you want your curls if you want that bouncy full layered look you want to make sure that you cut layers in your units y'all okay and it's going to make the curls last 10 times longer it's going to make the curls last way longer did i say 10 times longer it's going to make it last way longer so that is what i'm doing i'm just going in kind of just playing with the hair i'm not a professional hairstylist i just know how to do my own hair okay so i'm just playing around with it I know how I want it, so I know how to cut it, if that makes sense. The front kind of gave that curtain bang vibe. I don't know if that's what they was going for, but yeah, it was not given. So I'm just going in, kind of just playing with the hair to see what sections and what areas need to be trimmed and cut. And y'all gonna see, it's gonna come together so nicely. I go in and I cut the hair all over and not just the front. Cause I want the whole entire unit to be giving body, to be giving curls, wavy, bounce, definition, all of that. So I go in and I trim the entire wig, but more so, I'm more so focused on the front of the unit. So I cut it and now it's time to curl it to see how it looks um 
now that we have it cut and i still had to go in and play around with it after this because it still was not giving what i wanted to give so yeah as you can see it's still really not giving what i wanted to give so i ended up pinning that side out of the way and i said let me just go to the other side it's so weird but i feel like i do one side i always do one side better than the other but you can kind of see it was coming together a little bit it looked better than before so i said let me just start on the other side and i'm gonna just come back to the other side because i don't know sometimes i feel like i have to get the rhythm down pack on one side before i can see the other side so i'm doing the other side i'm cutting the layers and this side came out so flawless it came out so good y'all gonna see once i start curling it but i want to talk about how soft this hair is y'all it's so freaking pretty it's so freaking soft the texture is literally perfect i just love it so much okay this hair feels amazing it did not really shed so let's curl this side and let's see what it's giving sometimes you're gonna have to keep going back in cutting curling cutting curling cutting curling like that's literally what i had to do to get the look that i knew that i wanted to go for so pretty much done with this side as y'all can see it it was starting to come together right and it was still looking a little flat so i'm going in and i'm adding more layers and watch this y'all gonna see boom you see how it just made it look even more like defined and like bouncier and full like fuller i don't know if y'all can see what i see but it definitely made a difference when i added that last little piece of cut okay so now i'm going back on this side and now that i have the rhythm down pack i know what i need to do so i'm going back in i trimmed it some more and right here i figured out how to curl it because i was curling it wrong as well so i can't really explain the curling part y'all i just had to play around with curling it and voila it was starting to really come together it was giving that wavy layered look that i was going for so i just had to keep playing around with it and eventually it came out how i wanted it to come out and I just want y'all to peep the difference from how the wig first looked to now. It has more body. It has more thickness to it. It just looks so good. Come on. Stop playing. So, yeah. Cut layers and cut your wigs, y'all. I promise you. So, let's cut this lace off. Um, Let's go ahead and trim the lace off. So, I'm just taking my razor and I'm just going to lightly trim the lace. It kind of left like a white cast a little bit. You guys can't really see it on the camera, but I could see it clear as day um, through my mirror. So, what I'm going to do is take some more Got To Be Glue Spray. And I just sprayed it on my finger and just dabbed it and pressed it, pressed the spray like into the lace just a little bit and i'm also i also went in and added some foundation to it as well just to kind of get rid of that white cast i didn't even need the wax stick for real because if i'm being for real the the wig was laid y'all i'm just extra but the wig was so laid i really did not need the wax stick and the hot comb because as you can see baby the top is already flat that's why i'm telling y'all this wig literally came ready to wear you just have to style it to your liking and voila so i want to create like that overflow layer fall down type of bang if that makes sense i can't think of the actual term for it but i'm pretty much taking my hot comb and i'm just lifting like the bang part up just to kind of give it that high illusion so it can kind of fall more into my face y'all know what i'm talking about i can't think of the actual term or phrase for that but y'all know what i'm talking about by looking at what i'm doing and boom it just looks so much better i didn't really need to define the part but like i said i'm so extra so i did define the part just a little bit with some foundation just a tad bit not too much and this is the final look y'all i did go in and curl it just a little bit more but this is the completed look i love how this unit came out 
to perfection literally fall ready this just screams fall time with the highlights and the colors so yes girlies make sure y'all check down below in my description box for all the hair details go get you one okay go get you one of these i just love these lace closure units so much because they're so quick and easy to do no effort needed at all sis okay so thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this look don't forget to check down below. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you made it all the way through. Love y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Ciao.